Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. Now, this is a product review of the EV800DM goggles. Now, the goggles were supplied kindly by Banggood for me to review. Now, there is a problem that I came across. Now, as you can see, I wear spectacles. Now, I have to wear them for everything, driving, riding my bike, whatever, I have to use them. Now, what I found is I cannot use these goggles because of my glasses. I even adjusted the, the very focal section and I can't get them to focus. So what I've done, you'll see later on in the video, I've got a friend to help me with this review who would actually look at them. I am going to, in a bit, show you where I'm gonna look at a distance because to be focused with my glasses on, the goggles have to be about here. Now, to Ishin's defense, they do do a magnifying lens that was put inside and I'm going to try and get hold of one of those and then use them in the goggles and then try and fly with them. So I'm saying that I can't use them, but I do actually want to, the product's been sent to me and I want to review it. So let's uh, switch a quadcopter on and a camera on and have a look at the image. Right, what I've done, I've put the quad up there. You can just see it looking out the window. And the image quality is, is really good. It's just a shame it doesn't focus because there is nothing wrong with that image at all. What I'm gonna try and do is put it on, to focus it. Let me put it onto my camera and see if you can see this. Hopefully it's focusing. And you can see it's, it's, a, it's a very good image quality. Now let's take a look at the recorded DVR when I walk out of my house and into the sunlight. Let's take a look. There you can see I'm walking from my house. The picture quality looks good for inside the house. And let's see how quickly outside. I know this is not very scientific, but it gives you some idea of the image quality inside the goggles. I'm going to aim at the sky. I've got a very good camera in this quadcopter. And there we go. As you know, I'm not one for unboxing. So I've unboxed this and I've already set up the EV800DM. Now it comes with a uh, Omni and a patch antenna, as you can see, which I use for the test. On the top of the goggles here, we've got the menu button, we've got the power button and we can change the band. Now, if we go to the bottom, we have a search button. We've got our DC five volts in. We've got where we put our SD card and we've got headphones and V in, um, and then we've got to pick and record, so we can push this button to record. The goggles, as I showed you earlier, slide out so that you can focus them, but as I've already explained, that doesn't work for me. The battery, it's got, it's got an internal battery, which is 2000 milliamp hour battery, so, and it's three point, let me just check the voltage, it is 3.8 volts. Now, I charged it up. It didn't take long to charge up, but I haven't tested how long they actually last. I may do that test and then I'll uh, put up on the screen how long the battery did actually last. With the goggles, you get a charger. I can't use this one in South Africa because it's the wrong type. You get a, a video lead with a stereo jack at the end, 3.5 millimeter, and then you get your charging cable. The charging cable, is a USB cable with this connector here. Let me just get that to focus. So it doesn't come with uh, an XT30 or an XT60 lead so that you can plug your um, LiPo battery because it can be charged from five volts to 18 volts. So you could use uh, a two cell or a four cell battery to charge it, but you would need to make that lead up. Now the goggles have diversity and they've got race band channels and 40 channels in all that they can receive. It has a three inch screen. The resolution is 900 by 600 and the aspect ratio is four to three. The angle of view is horizontal 140 and vertical 120. And they're not, they're not very heavy at all. They weigh uh, 320 grams. So they are quite light. They don't pull down on your face too much. Now let's switch over to our flying site. Now I asked Kevin, he's a founding member of the Model Flying Club, uh, if he would wear the goggles and give me some idea about them. He's never FPV'd before, but he's got a good, good set of eyes, better than mine, and you can listen to his uh, opinions about the goggle as I was flying my quad. 
Hi everyone, I'm now at the field. This is Kevin. He's one of the founding members of the St. Helio Bay RC Flies and he's going to help me. As I explained earlier, there's a problem with me using these goggles because of my glasses. So Kevin's going to assist, uh, assist me with this. Uh, so thanks Kevin. Oh, great. That's great. Okay, let's suit up. Oh, more glasses. There we go. So what's the fit like, Kevin? The uh, fit is comfortable. There's a bit of light coming in and under the under under the nose area. Is that? Yeah. But at the top uh, and sides. But the top and sides are sealed. It is well sealed. Okay. All right. I'm just checking my pocket over. Right mode angle. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's take off, and then you can. Now let's pause there. My autofocus decided not to play ball with me. So I'm going to put up in the corner of the picture the DVR footage of me flying but I'm still going to carry on with this video because I want you to hear what Kevin has to say about the goggles. So give me your pills. And really you're looking for any break up in the picture. How's it dealing with the sun there? Uh, the picture You've got a good idea. It's not. It, uh, the light, it does battle a bit when you're in the sun, when you were into the sun earlier. And I know you've never tried, flown FPV before, but it was just to give me some idea of, you know, what the picture yeah. in FPV isn't HD. You know, it is. Yeah, no, sure. It's, it's pixel. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's you're right. It's, it's a You've got a, you've got a good, a good. You get a good idea of the ground you're covering, but yes. it, it, but it's not it, like you say, it's not actually. Any break up? I'm not going to go too far because no, nothing. It's, the picture's been good up to now. Okay, that's great. I'm going to push and go a little bit further. See if we. I'll just watch my RSSI. You should be getting all that back on the screen. You'll see all the information that I'm seeing. Yeah. So uh, let's go over here. RF signal. Low. Okay, okay, that's low. So the, the video picture in my goggles was good. How about you, the ones you're using? Uh, no, they're fair. It's just very pixelated. Yeah, so no break up. No. Then. Oh, that's good. You're going into the sun now, and it's, 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 your vision is still fairly good. You know? It's not. It's handling the sun quite well. Okay. Three minutes. Let me see if I can force in some. Did you get a colour degrading? Did, did the colour degrade then when I accelerated? Not really, no. Not really, oh, that's good. Do you feel that they would give you eye strain? I think after a while, yes. Yeah, that can be. That can be, um, you know, a, a problem you have to get used to when you're not used to FPV. Yeah. There we go. Thanks, Kevin. Oh, great. I appreciate that. So, yeah, I think I could get used to it, you know. I think uh, at some stage I will get a good drone. <laughs> yeah. And a, and a camera. And you, the, you, the focusing, it was only slightly out yeah, of focus. Yeah. So no, it's, it's usable. It's, yeah, it's usable. Could yeah. you see the telemetry? No. no, no you couldn't no, see the telemetry no, numbers? No. Yeah, okay. That is the sort of problem yeah. I had. Okay, yeah. that's great. Thanks, Kevin. Really appreciate it. No, great. Uh, thank you very much. Good. Now, in summary, they are easy to use. Uh, they have a built-in DVR, which is nice, and it seems to be quite a good quality one. They're, as I just mentioned, they're not too he too heavy. Um, the price is reasonable, and 
You can buy the optical lenses to go inside, which really is a shame that uh, I didn't think of and see if I could have got hold of them before I did the review. But I must review it as you buy the goggles. And as I've already said, that is going to be a problem with me. I cannot use them with these glasses in any way whatsoever. So I would need those uh, that optical lenses to go inside. But if you had good eyesight, I'm sure these would be a, a good set of goggles. And when Kevin used them, uh, he said they, they were fine. Um, there is just one slight other thing, is that, which is a very personal thing. There is, I, I'm going to see if I can put this there. You can see there, there's no foam. And inside the box, there was no foam to put on there. So there's quite a bit of light leakage there. Um, I'm not too worried about that because I'm used to using the Nun goggles, which are completely open. So it's not too much of a problem for me. They were also, they are comfortable. The, the sponge on the front is quite flexible. So they are uh, quite comfortable to wear. Now, in summary, as I normally come up, is would I buy them with my own money? And I'm afraid to say I wouldn't because I wouldn't be able to use them because of my glasses. Now, I would revise that whether I would buy them once I've got the um, optical lenses to go inside and test it because that may change things. But if you've got good eyesight, I'm sure these goggles will be good. They, they, the, the picture quality to me is, is absolutely fine. And when Kevin used them, he said there wasn't any break, break up in the picture. Uh, with, and that's with using the stock antennas. So I would like to get the um, uh, inserts, the lens inserts, and try it, and then I'll report back. But as of they are now, I would not, I would not advise buying them if you wear glasses because they, for some reason, they just wouldn't work with my uh, prescription lenses. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.